Hi and welcome to this new series on complex analysis. Today we will uh, start talking about complex numbers and in particular we will have a look at the simplest representation of a complex number that is the Cartesian, Cartesian representation or Cartesian form. Okay? Well, uh, a complex number in Cartesian form is represented as z, if z is a complex number, z is equal to x plus jy, where x and y are real numbers, while j is the imaginary unit. Huh? Okay? imaginary unit that is as to say this is a new kind of number um, and the fundamental property of this imaginary unit is that j squared is equals to minus 1 or that is the same j is equals to the square root of minus 1 okay so this is the fundamental property keep in mind this because this is very important and this is the fundamental property that, that we will use to build uh, the complex number. So, um, as if we see the Cartesian form of a complex number, we see that we have a real part, x, and we have an imaginary part, that is the j, the imaginary unit, with the scaling factor y. Okay, so we could say that x is the real part of the z, while y is called the imaginary part of z. Okay, now um, why is this form called the uh, Cartesian form? Well, this is rather simple to see because if we uh, draw a Cartesian diagram and we uh, will use the x axis to represent the real part of the uh, complex number and we will use the y-axis to represent the imaginary part of the real number here is the origin we will see that uh, this number z this number z can be put in correspondence with a pair of numbers which is, which are the real part x and the imaginary part so for each z there is one and only one pair of real numbers x and y that represent z so but x this pair can be put in correspondence with a point on a plane whose x coordinate is x and the y coordinate is y of course so this is the real part and this is the imaginary part so uh, this is z okay and this is the Cartesian representation so it is easy now to see that uh, if we use this Cartesian form for the complex number z it is a rather easy is a quite easy to find the real part and the imaginary part of this number z okay of course, we could also um, figure out what uh, that is um, re quite natural to put in correspondence z with a vector starting from the origin of the reference plane and with the second end point uh, that is uh, the point z. So we have a vector that is for each complex number z we have also a vector that starts from the origin of the Cartesian plane and ends up in the point z okay so if we have a vector we could also define the modulus modulus of z and we will use this symbol to represent the modulus of a complex number z and this modulus is defined as the square root of x squared plus y squared this is quite natural huh, to define this and but we have also um, an inclination so so this is the modulus but here we have also an inclination and we will call this inclination the argument argument 
of z okay and so this argument is uh, theta uh, this argument is theta now if we uh, take a look at this triangle it is rather easy to find that the tangent of theta is equal to uh, y over x to y over x so one could say okay now it is rather easy to solve this equation uh, for theta for the angle theta uh, getting theta equals to the arc tangent of y over x but this is come with a big big warning huh? this is come with a big warning okay because as we all know uh, this angle is not unique I mean for each um, uh, value of this ratio 1 over x there is just more than one theta that is solved the equation and we will see this uh, quite soon if we I'm sorry hmm? this is not a good idea okay if we draw the uh, goniometric circumference which is as you all remember uh, circumference with the radius 1 hmm? we know that for uh, particular uh, angle theta the value of tangent of theta is given by this segment this is the value of tangent of theta so given this value tangent of theta one might ask what is the value of the angle such that tangent of theta is equal to this value well there is not just this value of the angle but there is also another value and it is just this one that is this angle okay and you will see that this angle is clearly theta plus pi but there is also another value that is this one that is theta minus pi so it seems that for a single value of tangent of theta there are infinite infinite values of theta such that the tangent of these angles is are equal to the same given number so um, how um, we can draw this diagram of uh, the tangent of theta well it is quite easy to see now because if we uh, draw on a Cartesian diagram and we report on the x-axis the theta value while on the y-axis the tangent of theta and we try to and we draw the diagram of the function tangent of theta what do we get is this okay is a diagram that is periodic is a diagram that is periodic okay this is passing by the origin uh, of course uh, that is not the best drawing in the history of drawing tangent theta no no that is too ugly okay uh, let me uh, just improve this part of the diagram okay yeah what well well uh, this is uh, of course pi over 2 this is 3 pi over 2 uh, this is minus pi over 2 and this is minus 3 pi over 2 huh? well uh, the tangent of course is 0 here and it is 0 also in pi and in minus pi okay so we have here a diagram which is periodic with a period that is uh, pi hmm? so what happens if we try to find the uh, value of the angles that satisfy the equation what is the equation okay this equation okay this equation i want to satisfy this equation uh, let's assume that this is uh, a value of y over x okay y over x that is the value of the tangent of theta where there are infinite values of um, angles that satisfy this equation as you could see here 
we have theta, uh, that is the value included in the interval, minus pi. So if I have minus half pi and half pi, if theta is included in this interval, it, we come up with this solution. Theta is simply the arc tangent of a y over x. Okay, this is just the value that we find. But we have also infinite values on the right side and on the left side. If we move on the right side, what we find here is theta plus pi. Okay, or if we move here, this value, uh, this value, okay, is going to be uh, theta minus pi. Okay, what we have found is that if we have that theta is less than minus half pi or theta is greater than half pi, what we find is that theta is going to be the arc tangent of y over x plus or minus pi depending on the um, sign of x. In fact, in fact, as you may see here, if we go back to this diagram, we see that for this value of, for this value, let me use this uh, color, okay? If we use this value of tangent theta, uh, well, uh, this solution is going to be a theta if we remain in this part of the Cartesian plane, but this part of the Cartesian plane means that we are in an interval minus half pi plus half pi. Or, but if we move in this interval, we are exactly in this part. We have, uh, or theta is less than minus half pi, or theta is greater than half pi. And we can get the same value of the tangent of theta, both moving for positive angles, and in this case we got theta plus pi, or we move for negative angles, and in this case we get theta minus pi. So, uh, in general, yeah, with this expression, we can get both positive or negative angles. Uh, let's now try to solve this for uh, concrete, for um, practical uh, case. So uh, we will assume uh, that we are given a um, complex number. Uh, one of this complex number might be, for example, um, z, z. Okay, this is the example we want to consider. Example. Hmm? Example. Uh, we have this uh, uh, complex number z, which is uh, minus 4 square root of 3 uh, mi minus 4j. Okay? And we want to find what? We want to find the modulus, modulus of z and the argument theta. Okay? Well, the modulus is rather quite simple because we just have to. Uh, found the square root of minus 4 square root of 3 squared plus minus 4 squared and this is equal to the square root of uh, well what you have 16 by 3 plus 16 uh, and of course this is 48 plus 16, well, this is square root of 64, which is 8, okay? So, if we draw a diagram, we already know in the Cartesian plane, in the, well, well this is called the complex, complex plane, or organ plane is the same, okay? In which we have the real axis on the x-axis and a measure axis on the y-axis, okay? Uh, if we want to find the position of this uh, complex number in the complex plane, well, the first thing that we know is that for sure this number will be uh, positioned on a circle with the radius 8. So uh, let's 
move on and draw a diagram of a circle uh, with radius 8 and we know that Z has to be uh, positioned, has to be located on one point on this circle but we don't know exactly where it is yes because we need to find the argument okay so theta theta is going to be uh, well we know uh, this is going to be the arc tangent of what well of y over x but y is minus 4 over x which is minus 4 square root of 3 and we should also know here if we are on the on, in this part of the plane or in this part of the plane but we from this diagram we see that this part of the plane has the characteristic um, sorry that the real part of Z, the real part of Z here is greater than zero, while in this part, the real part of Z is less than zero. Okay, in this case, we have that the real part, the real part of Z is equal to minus four square root of three, which is less than zero. So we are in this case. So we have to add pi to find the argument of the complex number. So what we find here is the arc tangent of 1 over square root of 3 plus pi, okay? But, well, uh, the arc tangent of y over 1 over square root of 3 is simply given by pi over 6 pi over 6 plus pi is going to be 7 pi over 6. So, uh, how to find where it is located? Well, this is pi over 6. We know that this is pi over 6. This is 2 pi over 6. This is 3 pi over 6. This is 4 pi over 6. This is 5 pi over 6. This is 6. This is 7. 7 pi over 6. So, this is the point where the complex number z is located and in fact we could say that this angle is uh, 7 pi over 6 okay and now uh, this is okay for this lesson in the next lesson we will have a look at the trigonometric form of a complex number thank you